Just as the UK was recovering from storms Eunice and Franklin, scientists of the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released a landmark report warning of a future with spiraling weather extremes, fiercer storms, flash flooding, and wildfires. This isn't the first time that Britain has experienced drastic climate change, however. By the 16th and 17th centuries, Northern Europe had left its medieval warm period and was languishing in what is sometimes called the Little Ice Age. Starting in the early 14th century, average temperatures in the British Isles cooled by 2 degrees Celsius with similar anomalies recorded across Europe. Much colder winters ensued. Rivers and coastal seas froze, grinding trade and communications to a halt. Crops and livestock withered, while downpours spoiled harvests, unleashing widespread hunger and hardship. There were rebellions, revolutions, wars and plagues, as well as the scapegoating of supposed witches, suspected of causing the foul weather. Researchers have offered a range of explanations for the Little Ice Age, from volcanic eruptions to the European destruction of indigenous societies in the Americas, which caused forests to regrow on abandoned farmland. Others have suggested the Maunder Minimum, a period between 1650 and 1715, when observed sunspots were suddenly scarce. Whatever its causes, there is plenty of historical evidence documenting the Little Ice Age. In London, the River Thames froze many times between 1400 and 1815 with freezes increasing in frequency and severity from the early 17th to the early 18th centuries. People seized the opportunity to hold fairs on the river's icy surface. During the Great Frost of 1608, people played football, wrestled, danced and skated on the Thames. Many stalls sold sumptuous food and drink. Entertainment included skating and dancing, together with football, horse racing, bear baiting and cock throwing. There were puppet plays and peep shows, as well as fire eating, knife swallowing, and a lottery. Life for London's poor and newly unemployed was then increasingly desperate, with many people lacking money to eat and keep warm. The scene was similar across Europe. Hunger was the greatest enemy. The terrible winter of 1684 claimed many lives. Although the scientists of the day did exchange ideas on the shifting climate, they were forced to reckon with social and economic shocks as a result of temperature changes that they had little capacity to predict. Superstitions fueled reprisals among people desperate to blame unfortunate neighbors, like women of low social status who were accused of witchcraft in farming communities ruined by crop failures. The Little Ice Age was experienced as a sharp deterioration in the overall quality of life. History shows that climate change can last centuries and have profound consequences for civilization. Then as now, solidarity is the best defense against the unknown. Thank you for watching. Aisha Sinclair for the Neutronium Alchemist. And please, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah.